Here are the reflection coefficients that I calculated for each material interface. For the air snow boundary, I got 0.12. For the snow body boundary, I got 0 0.72 at an angle of 177 degrees, which the angle, we're probably not going to use that very much. And then for the snow ground interface, I got 0 0.35179 degrees. So in other words, we can expect about 12% of the wave to, prop to reflect from the air snow interface. 72% from the snow body interface, and 35% from the snow ground interface. Next, before you run the full simulation, all 55,000 time steps, I recommend you run the code for just one time step, one dt, and plot the permittivity and the conductivity arrays across the grid to make sure you are taking into account the geometry correctly. So you can use something like plot epsilon and plot uh, sigma, and these will be versus i, spatial position.